How do you do? Well, you are, I assume, Mr. White. May I say it is both an honor and a privilege to be making your acquaintance. Fuck are you, short pants? My name is Michael Lewis. I'm a businessman. I have traveled here today from the borough of Manhattan in the city of New York to discuss a proposition with you. May I approach? You may stay where the fuck you stand in. What proposition? Hey, boy, let us say. Wants to buy a boiled wool coat for his sweetheart. At Gimbel's, this coat puts him $12.46 out of pocket. On Rivington Street, this identical coat costs what? This ain't no coat store, son. But the principle you'd agree is the same. You make a certain product, yes, sells for a certain price based on quality, cost, competition. So what do you say, Mr. White? About what? About my buying, let's call it... 1,000 cases of spirituous liquor directly from you to our mutual benefit. Cut out the middle, man. Nobody ever got a no sip, you and me. Precisely right. Your mama know you out wearing your daddy's Sunday suit. <laughs> no, sir, she does not. She also doesn't know that I have this. $10,000 in U.S. currency, $500 notes, and all you have to do is recognize an opportunity. <laughs> Would you like to share the punchline? Well, the punchline is, you tell old Nucky Thompson it's gonna take a lot more than 10 grand to get me to fuck him over. Well, you can't blame a fella for trying. Gentlemen. Anybody got change of a nickel? Oh, look who it is. This time I saw you fellas was in the back of a paddy. This is Charlie Luciano. And my pal, Maya. Mickey Doyle. How do you do? Chi starà da risolvi? C'è da essere ganna nova, man. A dina coloveruro. He says you're a real solid fella. Va borto, ci una tazza gauna. So why didn't you tell me you was in town, huh? What are you doing here? Business. Why else would I come to this shithole by the sea? Oh, Janus. So let me ask you, how many times you think you could knock over Nucky Thompson's bag man before he bites back? It was easy pickings. So what was you fellas? We're getting a toehold on the alcohol business. We need a little scratch to get things rolling. It's a nice take. 3,000 clams. It ain't hay. You do realize you owe Mr. Rothstein for the privilege. You ain't got no jurisdiction down in Atlantic City. They came here from Philly on their own accord. Have you been noticing the cost of gasoline? Last week goes from 18 to 20 cents a gallon. Who is this guy? Name's Maya Lansky. And he's a pal of mine, like I said. Gasoline, like I said. It's what moves America. Once you got the hooch, you got to distribute it, right? Got to set up stills, warehouses to store the stuff, payoffs for the bulls, politicians. Bottles, crates, labels, it adds up. You want to run a top-shelf operation, you're going to need a lot more than 3,000 bucks. We got muscle. Yeah, you and your brothers against the whole city. So what are you saying? Is Rothstein willing to back us? Show him you're capable. You've been to Lolly Steinman's? The Delicatessen? It's a casino. Nucky Thompson owns it. End of a Saturday, they got 150 grand in the cage. You fixing we robbed the joint? And he's the smart one. We're gonna work out the details, but 50% go stay out in New York. The other 50 we use to bankroll our next move. We? Take a shot at me. I know it. They're gonna shoot me, Nuck. 
I know that too. How? You're always jabbering an Italian, laughing at me behind my back, right to my face. And Luciano, how does he figure in? Your mother didn't tell you? Watch your step, Mickey. Hmm. He's got this kid, some sheeny named Lansky. He approached Chalky, made him an offer, but it was really just a what's it. A ruse? That's the ticket. To find out how many bottles he's moving. Why does he want to know that? What do you think? For information. This is all on orders from Rothstein. He wants to muscle in, take over the liquor business in Atlantic City. Ruining baseball isn't enough? Get Chalky on the phone. For what? Well, I hope his reputation precedes him. But Mr. Rothstein doesn't do business like that. Chiseling your partners is short-sighted. We'll look into the future. These stills, this piss water you're bottling. Don't get me wrong, it's fine for some people. But we're looking for the real stuff. Can you part with 500 cases a month? You know I can, Mr. Lewis. No offense. That was before Mr. Doyle here told us how unhappy you were. Yeah, now that we know, you'll be our contact down Atlantic City. I play your cards right. You can buy a packet for every day in a week. Tomorrow late, we'll send trucks. The money, too. What about Nucky? Fuck him. By which he means you're under the wing of Arnold Wardstein now. New York life don't offer protection that good. <laughs> One more thing. How you know I drive a packet? Mr. Thompson, may I speak with you? I know we've only recently met. And my word doesn't count for much. But if you could see your way to letting me go, I'm quite certain I can work out an accommodation with Mr. Rothstein. Mr. Rothstein made his bed. Now you fellows can die in it. <laughs> Tough talk when he ain't in the room, right? What'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you heard me. What I said was you, Mr. Thompson, and this coon here could all go fuck each other. Right. Oh, fucking tough guy. You gonna shoot me from mouthing off? I wasn't going to, but you kind of talked me into it. <laughs> Anybody else? Jesus Christ. What do we do with him? Leave him at the dump, the rest of the garbage. All right, brothers, come back. They're gonna string your pie than they did that other fucking cool. You can go now. And please, tell Mr. Rothstein what you saw here tonight. This war we're ready. Charlie and I were talking. There's no percentage in it. I mean, I know I brung them in. But these grease bulls, these Delessio brothers. Not your best suggestion. You're a businessman, right? Maybe you cut your losses. I didn't realize I was paying your boys for advice. Well, the advice is free. You pay us because we'll get our hands dirty. Myers game. Come downtown later. Sit in. I'll be there. 
This your idea of a setup? Jesus. I thought you was a businessman. Doesn't make me a simp. You know what? Go fry a fucking egg, Farmer John. Hey, Charlie. Just give me the straight dope, all right? Maya thinks we should talk. So how's this work? I run the house, goes round the clock. Uh, the old neighborhood, people know me. Under AR's protection, so after him. We got other enterprises, too. Ross didn't get a piece of those. Benny. Go around the corner and purchase me one pound of halva. Stuff will rot your teeth. Have a craving. What the hell was that? He does funny things sometimes. There's some sugar, the Yango. He goes a potato father. Please. You met with AR. He can be. Difficult to read. The thing of yours this morning. I just said yesterday. Yeah, but I wouldn't ask you. I need Rostein, not the fellow that carries his water. Fucks with you. I make a friendly gesture. Allie. And this bust out asshole. Are we friends now? You fucking come near my mother? Ali, she begged for it. Gentlemen, you gonna be the fuck no, I come Gentlemen! I'm running a business here, yes! Yes! May I call you Jimmy? Jimmy, Charlie and I have learned a great deal from Mr. Rothstein, as I am sure you have learned from Mr. Thompson. But nobody wants to be in school forever. As I see it, we have a lot in common. And if we put aside our differences, things could happen. Such as? Trading partners. We buy liquor from you, you buy something from us. And what would that be? We're thinking of getting into heroin. When you run the numbers, it starts looking very attractive. New victims are always welcome. Why's every cat gotta be a wise ass? Why's every dago gotta be dumb as fuck? I'll bury you in your diaper. Oi! 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 Benny! <laughs> Gentlemen, I appreciate the full and frank discussion. Fuck that. You respect the terms. And you tell your froze your partner. I most certainly will. Yeah. This place smells. Let's go. Come on. My uncle needs to hear this. What was that? Representatives of Mr. Masri. Who's he? Mustache Pete fat ass. Thinks he owns the Lower East Side. Simple uh, misunderstanding. Maya, Charlie, I believe you know Mr. Masseria. Sure. Then <clears throat> perhaps you also know, though it is of course news to me, that a card game you operate is located in territory that Mr. Masseria considers to be his. No considers. He's mine. My thinking was, before any more blood is shed, that a compromise can be reached. More blood? Tompkins Square Park. My two nephews. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently, two of Mr. Masseria's emissaries to your establishment were murdered shortly after their visit. We do operate 
a game in what might be termed a gray area territorially, but as to any violence in the neighborhood... Ah, they stubbed themselves, huh? It's a coincidence that it happens. On my streets. No coincidence. Well, this little prick, since he's 10 years old, that he causes problems. Well, it seems to me you boys ought to extend a token of goodwill towards Mr. Messeria. Shall we say a one-time fee of $2,000 for the families of those gentlemen and a tax of 10% on the game going forward? Hold on a fucking second. Charlie. Ten percent is okay. For now. Then we have an agreement. Ma che minchia fa costi a mazzo Cristo? E con mia, pazzo ricco. Con la tua mano si entra ma sacchetta. Picciotto. Non c'è scassà, minchia. Io ti taglio passo, ti passo. Ciao, eh. Hey, yo. Two grand's bad enough. But 10% of the fucking game. We already pay half the take on that game to you. Yes. And now you boys know why. Another 50 in the car. The ring of shores. I wish you would stop with this. You slap around with a box of watches, what do we look like? The fellas don't know what time it is. Might as well set up a push car. Arnold Rothstein's here? They're talking, Benny. Oh, so I should tell him to go fuck a duck? Enough for the crazy shit already. Huh? Eh? Bring him in before he breaks the house. Mr. Austin? The bear, the bear. Hey, ah. Uh, did you come to sit in? You know you're always welcome. I'm afraid those sharpers out there would fleece me. to his present difficulties, I've made a deal with Nucky Thompson. He'll be offloading his liquor shipments in Philadelphia. Waxy Gordon will ensure safe arrival. The route to Atlantic City will be my responsibility. And you'd like us to recruit the muscle? I would like you to be the muscle. Hey, uh, we, uh, got some business going on just now. I can see that. Mr. Thompson is paying me a premium. Anybody could ride shotgun. Until you encounter Indians. We're honored. By your trust, they are. And flattered that you would come below 14th Street to discuss it personally. Aren't we, Charlie? Sure. As it happens, I was down here having dinner with Joe Masseria, who left me with a distinct impression he'd still like both of you dead. You broke bread with that prick. We were served a native dish of tripe, which I cannot abide. But I ate it anyway to keep the peace. Some things, Charlie, you just have to swallow. Coffee break. Fuck you think. Tire blue. We got a nail or something. They ain't paying us enough for this shit. That ain't no fucking nail.
Drop your weapons. Throw your guns out. No one gets hurt. Dominique. Who's there? It's Lucky. Identify yourself. It's Luciano, goddammit. You know these fellas? All right, come out then. How we know you ain't gonna shoot us? I'm not gonna shoot you. What the fuck are you doing? We're making a delivery. For Nucky Thompson? He cut a deal with Rothstein. Tim Porter's liquor through Philly. Under the auspices of Waxy Gordon. And do you fellas have the muscle? I don't fucking believe this. All this is for Nucky. Chalky White's back in business. Jesus Christ. What do you want to do? If I may, this could be an opportunity, gentlemen. The fuck you're talking about? We have spoken to you about partnering up. Heroin. Better opportunities. That's right. So why kill each other over a few trucks worth of liquor? You worked with Vaxi Gordon. The man's a piece of shit. Not every insult requires a response. The hundred grand, that boy chick. Five of which is mine. So they'll advance us. Sure. Can't kill everyone, Manny. It's not good business. Look, so we let you go. You deliver the load to Chalky. Nucky Thompson is none the wiser. And then what? And then we meet up, separately. And we figure a way to take it all. It's kismet, gentlemen. Rothstein, Nucky. That time has passed. Waxy Gordon's eight. Uh, let us worry about Waxy. Leave the car. We're gonna start this thing. Give it another minute. Your grandpa in the woods. Sammy Sabbat from Philly. Manny, what about him? Keeps hocking me for five grand. You agreed to advance him. You had a gun on me. I'll cover it as a gesture. It's not a favor. You should probably begin. Gentlemen. I want to thank you all for coming. It's hard to believe that a year ago, a year and a half, things have changed so much. Sure, Maya started shaving. Kind of my point. Nucky Thompson, Johnny Torrio, Rothstein, Waxy Gordon, they have problems. They come to us. Exactly why we don't need them. Speak for yourself, Salvatore. What are you, my priest? Back off. Charlie, we have to listen. As of this moment, the Coast Guard in Atlantic City is in my back pocket. It puts all of us in a very Gentlemen, unique position. Sheriff Thompson. Start without me? How long are we supposed to wait? You lose the keys to the jail? <laughs> Eli, this is Al, Charlie, and Maya. We've already met. Yeah, I remember. Not as good as me, I bet. The men talk, the geisha retires. As I was saying, we have special advantages here. You send your suppliers to a friendly port. 
We offload, store it, truck it to you as needed. And with the sheriff as a partner, there's no limit to what we can bring in. No worries with the cops. No trouble with the hijackers. Mm. Torio's got supplies. Canada. Fellow Remus in Ohio. Yeah, and Torio takes care of Torio, so where does that leave you? How do you propose to handle Nucky? He goes to jail. I have Mayor Bader replace him with some patsy. They both report to me. The way this place runs, you have to keep people happy. You have hotel owners, clubs, theaters. They need to know that when one boss is gone, someone else is there to keep things in line. They figure that out by the gat you shove in the mouth. I'm telling you, it's not gonna fly. I work good with the Sheridans. The Greek town Irish? This one. Left the brains on the wall. So who doesn't get their hands dirty? Well, we count notches now. Anytime you want, Chicho. Whenever you're ready, Sal. This is not Chicago or New York. Things are different here. And the way it works with Nucky, the way I say it's gonna Jesus work with Nucky. Christ, just kill him. What's he, King fucking Neptune? He's creeping around with lawyers and politicians. And all of you with this bullshit pissing match. Put a bullet in his head, get it over with. I'm sick of all this fucking nut twisting. You and I can talk about it later. Talk about it now, in front of them. Look, you think with him, the political, what do you call? I don't see the angle. You don't live here. Yeah, that's right, pal. So it's a long way to come for nothing. Pop him. What's the big deal? He's just another old timer. So's on a Rothstein. Come to my house. We'll discuss that. You would kill your brother. No. Someone else will. I'll call Chicago. We'll get a paisan on the train. He comes up, does the job. He goes home. We're still making some real dough. Which is what it's all about, ain't it? Well, you don't like to keep people waiting. Make your phone call. Here. I just want to tell you something. Every jab, every so? Call. Tell me. It doesn't make a difference if you're right or wrong. Sorry. Carpentier. Say it as prayers when I start closing in. You just have to make a decision. Uh, either way, it'll be a swell fight. I'm only going to be here for a few more hours. I got to get back to training. So if you want to come up to me and uh, introduce yourself, say hello. I'm a federal agent! United States Department of Justice, everyone remain calm and stay where you are. It's okay, he's alive. Charlie, Meyer, say hello to Max Hirsch. Hey, guys. Nice to make you acquaintance. A pleasure. Max trained sidereal. He's running at Aqueduct on the 4th of July. <laughs> Not yet, he ain't. We'll continue to talk. Can we agree on that? You'll talk. I'll listen. How are you boys making out? Not so great. But it's nice to get out in the sun. There are cheaper ways to get a tan than picking losers. Are you telling me? My last horse is still running. What's the word from Philadelphia? Business as usual. Near as I can tell. There's a shipment on Thursday from Bill McCoy. Nucky well, Thompson's still alive, so until we hear otherwise. Any idea what happened there? With Thompson. Who knows? Well, he is, he's got a beef with his brother. Really? I would have thought James Darmody myself. Nah. Darmody ain't got it in him. Pillow talk, Charlie? With the mother. I'm true with that. <laughs> What's the matter? Manure. Pat, what can you expect when you conduct your business in a stable? 300 big ones with a out of the crate liquor. We do things right. It'll be worth 3 million. So we don't do things wrong. <laughs> At the risk of being a fly in the ointment. Many orbits in Philly. Yeah, still Cavone is still nudging us for his money. Yeah, fuck him already. Or pay him what you owe. You could cut him in as a partner. And what's second prize for being an asshole? I'll take care of it. He's no milk sop. I said I'd take care of it. You're the grand poobah. And it's settled. 
Jersey City. Dempsey? Me too. Yeah. We got the good seats. Oh, you plow a field with that, Frenchie. Blood all over the canvas. <laughs> Why don't you come along? We booked the suite at the Fairmont. Mm, two nights in Jersey City. Hey, I was taking a lot of side action. I'm gonna listen on the wireless. What the hell for? Darmody wants to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Might as well read a book. You could sniff it, smoke it, or inject it. Nice, you yeah. Moving chink drugs now? It ain't hop. It's heroin. And I wouldn't think a whore might stand pass judgment. Heroin delivers a higher dose of opiates to the brain than opium, which makes for a happier customer. No bottles, no barrels, a million bucks in a suitcase. What's the bank? Huh? Who's gonna buy it? You got your artist types. People of town. I seen this one. How group. many? Their numbers may be very small right now, but they're very enthusiastic. Get a few samples out to the locals. All right, that's great, but before you start squawking again, how about getting this out to the locals? The whole city's fucking drenched. I was whiskey. But it ain't cheaper than what we're selling. It's way cheaper. Now, well, who's behind it then? Nucky. You know that? In my bones. So much for stepping down. There's a reason why you cut a snake's head clean off. Well, who screwed that up, Al? But this whiskey, where's it from? You said you had the Coast Guard in your pocket. He says a lot of things. Nucky's man. He's from Ireland. They imported it. So let's pop the fucking mick. Yeah, that's great for tomorrow. What do we do today? I thought you was running this town. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? So you're supposed to be giving us the answers. Niggas on strike. Now this shit. They're still out there, you know. More of them than ever now. Yeah, I know, Mickey. So this stuff could be sitting here for months. I said I would take care of it, goddammit. Yeah, you should put that to fucking music. You know what? Fuck you, Sal, or Charlie, or whatever the fuck your name is. It's Charlie. Is that? The issue. There's a fortune at stake, gentlemen. This alcohol needs to be sold. Yeah, thanks, genius. Wait. I propose we split up and sell it in our respective towns. This is my town. What? I said this is my town. Philly, then. I wouldn't go there if I was you. On account of many Harvards. All right. You take Philly. I'll head north. Look, let's just sell this shit. All right? How's it looking? We're getting there. Got rid of my whole share in Philly. We don't even have to go back to New York. Sold the whole lot in Hoboken. What do we do with Jimmy's piece? Fuck Jimmy. It's ours now. You're gonna be showing his mug around here again. Well, if it was my wife, I would have done it the same way. If it was your wife, I wouldn't blame her. He's coming back. Seems unlikely. He didn't ice her. Then who did? Manny Horvitz. A little agitation between him and Jimmy. Then it's Jimmy's problem. Sell this shit and be done with it. And when he turns up looking for his dough? Pay him out of your share. <laughs> My share? How you figure that? Because you're a mope. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> well, what's left over for me? What's left over for me? I run these numbers. AR holds a half a million dollar policy against your life. I don't know nothing about that. I watched you sign it, you fucking snitch. Somebody put a slug in your head, and we split the policy with him. My share would be fine. I thought so. <laughs> I'd understood it was brown. Some is, there's all different types. It should be gold, the X me. They try it once, you got a customer for life. And your supplier? Some chink downtown. Ship it in from the Orient. We could start an import operation. Chinese lanterns, things of that nature. Cut out the middleman. Just so you know, we come to you with this first. Out of respect. 
Sir, Lucky Thompson called. That's about them Nefertiti's. I can't tell. Luckiest year to life. Miss Kent is no typical Corrine. You speak from experience? I speak as her landlord, Mr. Yale. The second luckiest year to life. Apartment house of mine in West 57. A tenant. Now Remus has heard everything. Look, another mummy. My apologies, gentlemen. I trust you've been enjoying yourselves. Mm. We're getting real friendly. Promise this year that's sticking only halfway in. What's the story, Maya? There's 96 packets total, so you know for later. Put it on. Gently. Feels lumpy. That's how your head's gonna feel. You fucked this up. If I stay. He understands, Charlie. Let me hear it from him. Cab to 104 in Lex, third floor, apartment D. Drop off the decks, take the dough, same as always. Cash first, Benny. Count it there. Penny less than the whole Gitas, you walk. They have some complaint about the product. You walk. You don't like the look of anyone. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Protecting the deal. Put that away. I'm wearing a pound of heroin. You walk. I need cab fare. You bring back the change, we go out for chinks. And don't yank on the line into the coat. It looks suspicious. He'll be fine. Yeah. Over will kill six people. Him I'm not worried about. It's Masseria we need to settle with. Me with this again. He's gonna come looking for his piece. We sent the bunny up to Harlem. We're dealing in Midtown. Feelers into Jersey. I sell two bindles of powder on Elizabeth Street. Joe Masseria gets cut in. That's how he'll see it. We just roll over. When it's our thing, not his. We approach him. We make the terms. We look like gentlemen. If he with that prick. He has his dinner, and then he has yours. <laughs> I'm saying for now, Charlie. Just for now. Money first, remember. I know, same as last night. Drop off the decks. Quit riding me. It's a business, Benny. Plain and simple. Right, 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 right. Hey, kid. Just the right block for the Turkish bath. How big a putz you think I am? How big they make them? Joe Masseria says hello. Hey! Come on! You're dead! You hear me? You're dead! I'll fucking kill you! What the fuck you doing? Like you said? One part laxative, Benny. You want them shitting themselves all over Hester Street. Anything. Charlie and I need to talk. I think it's time I got included. Based on what? I stepped up. I did what I had to. That means I stay in the room. You shot your water off in the middle of the street. They went back minus one. Why you did that? I fucking gave him cover! Benny! We are certainly gonna discuss this, but not right now, so... I'm summoned. At noon. I'll come with you. Maya, my city hates that chain of Punim of yours. Now more than ever, you turn up Punim's way to schools. He needs to understand the way the world's heading. You don't want to shake him to terms. That was before. Ah, well, you see? This is the problem with you. 
always very headstrong. Good thing I'm here to talk some sense. Offer two, settle up five. None west of Broadway, none south of Grand. They pray to that fat fuck? It's a symbol of enlightenment. New shipment of heroin. That ought to make Rothstein happy. The other one I'm worried about. What, Mazaria? Fuck him. Let me see. Last two numbers are still visible. My hand hurts. Once they're filed off, lightly stipple the area with a punch. Lightly. You don't want to damage the frame. Not a fuss for nothing. You're an exploit now. I've done it plenty of times. Well, then one more shouldn't be a problem. I warned you. You wouldn't listen. Now look where we are. What did you tell them? That business with you is more trouble than it's worth. Booze is our backbone, but sooner or later, this Mishigas will go the way of the ostrich feather. Yiddish, Meyer? I can't think of a more obvious route to my acquiescence than shared commonality. How about a good idea? Hey, uh, you're the one who always said to look where no one else is. That's what this deal is. 50 pounds of heroin for 100 grand. Do you know what a shot to nothing is? It's used in snooker. It's a shot in which a player attempts a difficult pot, but with safety in mind, regardless of his actually potting anything. Sounds like nothing for nothing to me. On the surface, yes, but by design. In the event of his missing, he leaves his opponent in a position of being unable to strike back. We're on the verge of a war. Charlie, you heard it yourself. Nucky Thompson's about to move on Joe Masseria, and until such time as one of them is dead, it would be unwise to venture into any new deals. What if the deal won't wait? A deal will always wait. And a fool will always rush in. I like the concept, boys, but the timing leaves much to be desired. That's bullshit. And now you're being rude. English. So my partner understands. You want English? Fine. Are this such a good deal? Why you come to me, eh? Why you don't go to your social affair? The other Jew, Rothstein. Mr. Rothstein has reservations about entering the heroin trade, more than likely because his business is suffering. I got the reservations, too. Like I don't trust him. This is a big step for all of us. We're confident that time and familiarity will change all that. I am not be so sure. Come on, it's 15 grand. I don't know Magadino. Yes, you do. I don't know him, Charlie. All right, well, I do. And there's 50 pounds of white we borrow big from our city of four. We're going to start moving it. Because what we got to pay off... You didn't hear what happened last night. Your mother served pork chops? How the fuck do I know? Nucky's Irishman. He went after Masseria, they sent him back in a box. Whichever way it goes, we need to be very careful now about who people see us do business He's with. He's from Buffalo, Maya. And it's 15 grand. Okay. Look. I couldn't fucking sleep last night when I was running the numbers of what we're gonna owe. You don't think I remember? 
Down to the penny? Everything connects, Charlie. Whether you know it or not, you need to stop and think it through. All right? You're making my head hurt. Let this one go. Yeah. I'm serious. I said, yeah. You're looking at this the wrong way. The bulls call it me. All right? But I worked at an angle. I'm not doing time. And no one's the wiser. We just... Just pick up where we left off. And I'll cover the hit. I will, Maya. I guarantee it. Out of my pocket. You're not gonna say nothing. Fifty pounds. One hundred. Thousand. Gentlemen, let's get this over with. What the fuck? Toto. Son you content with that bone. And you? I'm sorry. I never know your name. Maya. Maya. Is that ours? No anymore. The two of you. I've agreed to new terms of peace, given the change in circumstances. What change? That this heroin that I pay for with my fucking money now belongs to him. Hey, uh, if I may inquire, how did you obtain that? Charlie gave it to my associates. You set me up, Joe. You fucking set me up. Who the fuck do you think you are? Charlie, Charlie. I worked for that. I busted my ass for that. It was my idea, my deal. Charlie. You wouldn't lift a finger, sit behind your desk, making phone calls. I'm out there in the fucking world. Sir. Charlie, if you don't shut up, we're both dead. Yes. Mr. Masseria, you know how he gets. All this time, I thought I'd had some civilizing effect. But there's only so much you can teach a person until you reach the limits of his capabilities. You understand, though, don't you, Maya? Yes. I do. And it's your job then, if you want it. Seeing as how I'm flush with product, I'd like to offer a proposition. How would you like to join me in the heroin business? Mr. Mazzaria and I have not actually met. Does he speak English? He's not in the mood. I just want this to be clear. You'll understand what you say. We'd like to settle things. We think you do too. What makes you think that? Why else would you show up? See what the Thompson brothers are contemplating. I have my territory. South to Cape May, north to Asbury Park, west to Trenton. I have the casinos, the numbers, and the wire. I'm not looking for anything else. Haven't we had this conversation? I didn't ask for trouble. What was brought to my doorstep, I returned. 
I'd expect all of you to do exactly the same. You tried to put me in federal court. You were greedy. And you were desperate. Fifteen of his men killed on the road out of town. With the deal already struck. You landed on your feet. You wish to pretend you never gave What's wrong with There was no arrangement. They are I agree to me. Just, yeah. just, just, just. Now why should you trust any word come out of your mouth, though? Huh? That's a reasonable question. Let him see it. Broadway show, have the chop at Keens, do a little window shopping, and not be looking over my shoulder every second I'm at it. And in return? Maybe you enjoy the beach here. Not especially. I want peace, Arnold. That's all. Where you shop and where you eat is no concern of ours. This ends that. How are you, Charlie? I'm well, A.R. Thanks for reaction. It's a good boy. Why he keeps me informed. Bueno, bichotto. Ora I'm in class. man's troubles come from his inability to sit quietly in a room by himself. You should try it. Is that what you're doing here? Can't really know a man. Come on. You gonna raise or not? You fancy yourself a sportsman, Arnold. What would you do here? I would play against me like you mean it. <laughs> Says the big Ike been losing all night. How about you keep your observations to yourself? Are you in this game? Because that's my money on the felt. You gentleman's bought a right to an opinion, Meyer. Meyer. Arnold. Arnold Meyer. Ishk, bibble, dibble, dabble. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to send for a priest. Maybe not in your case. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Yeah. Someone who's taken a long time to lose and back off from my shoulder. Why, it's all an aspect of the contest. May I impose upon the house's good nature? How much? $200,000. I said fresh deck. I just open this one, sir. I don't like the feel of it. When you have some other engagement, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look at me. I'm the player. Yeah. Coakley Meyer. Gentlemen. I relish the action. Thanks for the pocket change, Goldstein. Settle up. 
I'm asking you don't extend him any more credit. Is he not good for it? Of course he is, but everyone hits a rough patch now and again. Is that what it is? He's a great man, A.R., but he doesn't like to lose. Nobody likes to, but we all have to learn how. The Tampa deal, I'm taking it off the table. If it's a matter of money, then... It's not. I can't rely on a man so blinded by his obsession with winning. Tell him I'll find a new partner. Well, the terms of your proposal will be the same. For who? For me. Without Rothstein. Mr. Rothstein is not my boss. You know, you never really know a man until you play cards with him. Oh! Allow me to introduce myself. Oh! Dear Columbus, dear. She got help, dear. I was eager. I got got You're overreacting. Probably went straight on the horn to Joe in New York. Why would he do that? They're cousins, Maria. A thousand miles away from each other. You don't understand. I understand Petrocelli is not gonna walk away from an opportunity. We cut Masseria in. It's too fucking late. I already went behind his back. What does he care? He'll go for the money. Oh, you're the expert on Joe? I saw him take a Gladstone full of cash from Nucky Thompson a couple of months ago. You know, the way back to the city, he's talking about the day he's gonna blow the top of Nucky's head off. He never forgets. He'll wait forever. That's how he is. Then let him chase you down here. I'm not living in fucking Florida. This pans out. We live wherever we want. I already live where I want. In a hotel suite. In Manhattan. Yeah. I'll just take care of it, huh? What does that mean? Petrocelli. And it ends there. How simple is that? We're in business with him. So we find someone else. This is now. This is happening Johnny, now. Listening. This is bad for me. We back out of the deal. All right, that's it. We'll get something else going. Closer to home. Leave it to me. I said that's it. What are you talking about? You do what you want. But I'm in. I'm staying. We're partners, Maya. Not on this. Not anymore. You don't got the green. You don't know what I have. You sly little sheeny. That's right, Charlie. Let's hear what you really think. Think your own fucking grave. You don't touch Petrocelli. Fuck you. Where's your friend? Mr. Thompson, I have some... Seeing as we're partners, how about we start using first names? Meyer? Charlie's out. Why? When he came down to it, he couldn't see the angle. The money? I'm covering it. Lucky. And it's me, Meyer, and Petrocelli. Finders feed a bill. This suite has my instructions to complete the transaction. Regarding the new business, she'll watch over my part of it down here. Sure, not. Good call. Delighted to have you on board. A snort for the road. My condolences. For what? Be a man, Eddie. That all happened somewhere else. Stay where you are, sir! 
Eli, what the fuck is this? Search the trucks. Move. Oh, let's go, guys. Since when you start riding with the help? You want to tell me what's transpiring here? We're already behind. It's none of your business what we got. Is there a problem, Agent Selby? This wise head won't get out of the way. Perhaps you're using the wrong approach. Step aside, please. Tell it to Joe the boss. Why don't you relay the message instead? Any other objections? It's not necessary. You heard the man. They're already behind. Take your time. By all means. And before this gets any further out of hand, please tell me how I can be of assistance. We understand you're carrying more than Rome. If we are, that's beyond any personal knowledge I have of the situation. You come to me practically begging some wet behind the ears little shit. No, you assure me your intentions are honorable, that you and your partner have big plans for the future. If you just let me speak, I'm... I let you in on the deal. Things are going great. And what do you do the second you get the chance? Mr. Thompson. You stick it up my fucking ass. You were coerced, Charlie and I, by Mercerea. He found out about Tampa from, from his cousin. Petricelli. And realized he could use it to his advantage. As did you and your greaseball partner. He would have killed us if we didn't go along. You think I fucking won't? I know that is a distinct possibility, though I do pray to God it doesn't happen. If it was strictly up to me, sir, I'd have nothing to do with narcotics. There is plenty of money in liquor, which is a much safer and eminently more sociably acceptable... <laughs> You've got two seconds to drop the fucking Boy Scout routine or you're going in that hole. <laughs> There's a fortune to be made in heroin. Millions and millions of dollars. Now, I don't know about you, but the way I saw it, it was the same life I was risking either way. I'm begging you, Mr. Thompson, please. What would you have done if you were me? You're going to call him. Call who? Masseria. If he'd like to see you or his heroine ever again, tell him to get his ass down here. Things look different during the day, no? You see all the... How you say? The flaws. Oh. I've always preferred bringing things to light. Maya, why are you so blue? You could have something to do with the heroin you had him in port. Ah, oh, see. Now you mentioned this to me when he called. So what do you have to say for yourself? I will wait, huh? Till my partner come. What partner? Forgive me my tardiness. It is a quality I deplore in others. Well, no. We just forget to start. What the hell is going on? The world is going on, Mr. Thompson. Without you, depending on what passes here today. You two are partners. In a manner of speaking, yes. As you've deduced, I am deeply entrenched in the business of providing heroin to those wretched souls who desire it. Mr. Mazzari and I have recently embarked on an arrangement wherein he will supply me with product via Tampa. Meyer. No key. Hello. I miss Sweet. Been a while. Yeah, funeral. Sad day. Rest his soul. What brings you here? Wife's been hocking me for a holiday. Married. Married. A son. Makes you concentrate on the future. Maria, 
Well, we should all. We should. Meyer. My best to Charlie. We don't talk too often. One of us is still a bachelor. You ask me, you believe you fellas are on the outs. Based on what? Nothing, I don't know. My opinion. I don't like this, Charlie. Relax. We're Jake. I'm nice, you're so short. You had to talk to Thompson, huh? Down in fucking Havana. What should I have done? Gee, maybe not fucking talk to him. You saw me, Benny. Better to face it head on. Vos biste as a cock level vos. Zaya, good boy. Lo shina men siri. Timera toiva, huh? Hey! Fuck you, you fucking screwball. Enough. As far as Manazana knows, Maya took it on himself dice times. So. Who knows what that fucking greaseball thinks? I say we move now, just take him the fuck out. It's too soon. We don't got the support. Support? What are we, politicians? Mm -hmm. What? Tonino. Prince Street. You take it over. I did the thing. You said you'd think about it. Masseria ain't even in the fucking ground yet. I know, I'm just reminding you. Go back upstairs. Get yourself a rim job. What are you saw me for? We'll catch up later, okay? Let's see if we'll fucking snore with this one. Yeah, he's all right. Tell it to Jip Rizzetti. The bull's roped off the entire block. There's no telling who's dead and who's alive. Who the shooters? But you don't know. Keep out of it. Well, I'm involved now, ain't I? We're grateful for everything you've done. Your advice, your counsel. And as the syndicate moves forward, it'll only get stronger. And your involvement will be an important part of what... <laughs> yeah. We waited for you, John. For quite some time. Nucky? I called. Didn't you get the message? Actually, I did. And now I have a message for you and the two pissants you're in league with. I will not rest until I see you in your graves. Can we hunk it down? In the Bronx. He's working from his office, the New York Central building. <laughs> Park Avenue. Yeah, should we get one of the Vanderbilt broads, Stice? Uh -huh. Benny's on the line. He says it's important. 100 bucks says it ain't. Where the fuck are you? Atlantic City. I've been kidnapped. God damn it, Benny. He's in Atlantic City. With some skirt? What else? <laughs> Listen to me, you fucking numbskull. Get your ass back here now. I've been snatched, for Christ's sake. I'm practically killed. I don't care how great a piece of ass she is. Get on the horn with this yen, sir, and... He hung up on me. Who did? Charlie. Why? He's a fucking asshole. What do you want from me? Is this for real? Oh, you want to play games now? Don't hang up on me. Who's this? If you want to see your friend again, you'll listen to me very carefully. I fucking told you I was kidnapped. Ah! You shit, you fuck up. You there? Put him on. Oh, I'll have to talk to you. Hey, Charlie, what's cooking? You all right? Sure. They took me to see the diving horse and everything. <laughs> Later on, we're getting cotton candy. I told you to be careful, didn't I? I got a bullet in my leg. You gonna hock me now? Put Thompson back on. Oh. I'm here. What do you want? A meeting, so we can settle this bullshit. I'll meet you at your funeral. We can talk there. You'll go to Siegel's before mine. Interesting proposition. Let me think it over. We had an agreement. Name somebody you ain't fucked over. Teaching me a lesson? This is business, and I want all of yours. Down to the last pasty in that rat-ass strip joint you run. And Cuba. It's yours. Everything's yours. Let him go. What's everything? What I have. What do you think? I think I'd like to see him on his knees. 
Make my friend happy. Now you know how it feels. I underestimated you, Charles. That was a mistake. In and out, five minutes. All people sew our hats. Any problems, we have our friend on the inside. What else? Atlantic City. Give it the pinky. That's a big bar mitzvah present. Somebody's gonna run that shit all. Something more important. We gotta set this meeting. Sooner is better. Everyone, from Pittsburgh to Podunk, lay out the rules before people get their own ideas. You know, I can make these phone calls. That'll be the easiest. Most of these guys, we all cut our teeth on Mulberry Bend. So when they hear it from me... We're gonna handle it, Johnny. These are uh, big changes. Uh, I won't be sure everything goes... We appreciate all your advice. Couldn't have done it without you. Jesus. Look at you all, Takakis. We celebrating or not? This could be a good year, Charlie. So what are you waiting for? Let's pop those bottles already. Profaci, Bonanno, Cagliano. Those types of cheeses? You want Magadino down from Buffalo? Oh, Buffalo mozzarella. I was right. Bite them all. See who shows. Whoever don't, gets popped. Easy. Ten years ago, more maybe, right before Prohibition. Went down to Atlantic City with A.R. Uh, at dinner at some hotel. Me, him, Big Jim Colosimo, Lucky Thompson. I remember thinking, I'm with the big boys now. You were a baby. We all were. Now look at us. Anybody ain't on board. And I mean anybody. They fucking go. That scumbag Waxy Gordon, Dutch Schultz, that spook in Harlem, Narcisse. Johnny Torrio? Why you swore at him? I'm not. Just dead weight. All about moving forward, ain't it? Thank you all for being here. Mr. Magadino, especially. Come all the way down from upstate. Obviously, our friend from Chicago couldn't make it. We wish him well. Pay your taxes, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> this table, it's round for a reason. Because nobody sits at the head. There's no boss. There's seven bosses. A commission. Five families in New York, plus Buffalo and Chicago. Nobody gets made unless we all approve. Put it to a vote. Any beefs, wherever you go, New Orleans, Kansas City, St. Louis, they get settled here by us before things get out of hand. Your way of doing things. It's over. The mustache pizza in the ground. Our friends, our partners, the Jews, the Irish, what have you. If it's good for business, it's good for us. There's no point in limiting our opportunities. The future is ours, boys. Here, here. Salud. 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 